hello guys welcome to the channel so in this video we're going to talk about land issues in ghana how can one find oneself in land issues in ghana i'm going to let you know all the tricks what leads to land issues in ghana and at the end of the video i'm going to teach you how to actually avoid finding yourself in this situation so let's dive into it well the first and the obvious one is simply buying the land from a scammer unfortunately you did not know somebody went and stood on somebody's land and was like this is mine i'm gonna sell it to you you don't know much about the person you don't know much about the area you don't know the person's office is just an individual that claims this is my land and you should buy it from me now after you buy the land you come to find out that this person didn't even have any paperwork at all to show that they are the owner some people might have other documents for other lands or whatever they might just have a site plan for the land and something else whatever they can create something and you did not know and you bought it from them uh, without asking around without finding out anything you just trusted them you bought it and you find yourself in trouble right this happened quite a lot where people actually just believe some stranger that this land belongs to me and they bought it right they are not a company they don't have an office just an individual that claims somebody's land sell it to you and when you decide to build you can't build because now the real owner is there to stop you this one is just pure scamming somebody stand on somebody's land and then selling it right if you drive around Accra you will see buildings where they have numbers on there like this land is not for sale call this number they don't want somebody to come and stand on their land and sell it when it doesn't belong to them and now the purchaser is trying to develop and there's a fight and stuff like that so to stop all of that they put it on there that this land is not for sale right now you can't come and stand there and say you're trying to sell something when there is a writing on the wall that this land is not for sale so if you have land and you don't want somebody to go and sell your land, you might want to put up a wall and write that on there. Number two is pure greed, right? The person might actually be the owner of the land. So in this situation, the first one, you just trusted, you didn't do any work and you just trusted. Now this one, you could do all the work that you want. This is the owner of the land. And that person is just terrible. That's a bad person. So you could do all the due diligence you want. The land belongs to that person. But unfortunately, this person sold the same land to three, four, five people. Yes, it happens. The same land, the person sold it to somebody, turned around and sold it to somebody else, and turned around and sold it to somebody else. And now when you're about to come and work, you know, you're having issues. Maybe they sold it to the person already and the person traveled or they never went through the registration. So there's no way in hell you can find out from land commission that the land has been sold before. And especially if you do all the checks and the person sell it today and then turn around and sell it to somebody else tomorrow, it can happen. And when you guys come and try to build on land, you'll be fighting amongst each other and end up in court. And some people, you know, you can't find them, right? This is one of the situations you can do all you want. I'm going to give you guys a solution at the end, right? So these are some of the tricks that can happen. Don't think you went to land commission and you saw everything, so you are good to go. As a matter of fact, most of the time, what you see in the land commission, there is something that's contradicting that. Another way that somebody can find themselves in a land issue is disgruntled family members, right? So most of the lands out here belongs to a family or stool, you know, kind of like that, right? And there's a lot of people involved. So unless they are organized and, you know, they have some sort of reputation, you can buy the land from the right people. They did not sell it to multiple people. You bought it from the right people, but they don't have their family in order. And when you're about to come and work, somebody will show up and they are just mad, right? I have an example of this. It's, it's, you know, this happened in Kofodra to somebody that I know. He bought the land from the chiefs. They all his due diligence. This guy was going crazy. He called me. And yet somebody came in there. I think the person came to break his wall or something like that. This person was mad that the family did not give him any cut. He is supposed to be eating from this as well. And, you know, he can't develop until he come and see him. This happens right so now you are fine amongst the family and all that so there's actually a way to go around all of this yeah so that's one of the situations you do all you you can you bought it from the right family everything but another family member is just trying to give you hell another way that people can actually find themselves in trouble is buying land that is in court and they are not aware of right so you went and you did your search i have a title right i can have a title and say this is my land knowing that I'm in court or the person who sold the land to me is in court, right? And there is an injunction on the land, but you do not know. So you went to the land commission because if there's an injunction on the land, that's in court. It's still in court. You went to the land commission, you did a search. I'm holding a title. I said, this is my land. And you bought the land. 
now you came and you're trying to work and you come to find out that it's actually an injunction on the land and the land is actually in court so the title that you did your search and you found is about to be null and void if that person who had that title end up losing the case or whatever the situation might be so having a title is not conclusive and whatever you find in land commission it is not conclusive there is actually one smoking gun that i'm going to give to you guys at the end of this video how to know that you have no issue with the land it's the only one way to find out and i'm going to let you guys have it the situation is in court that person just want to get their hands off get some money and they're out right and you find yourself carrying the weight that could happen out here sometimes you might actually buy a legit land right but the people you bought the land from are not powerful this is the reason why i actually operate the same way in ghana i'm gonna you know lay everything out at the end of the video so you bought the land from the right people right that's very similar to my situation at car wash when i first knew in the country i did everything right guys L people have been living on the land for 20 years they had a title i bought it i changed the title to my name they opened the business there's buildings on there like who in their right mind will come and claim something like this but trust me, that's exactly what happened. So imagine the, like a bare land. Somebody is living on there for 20 years, having a business, multiple houses. I come in and somebody's claiming that this is my land. This only happened when I started working though. That's what we're going to get to at the end of the video. How to actually find out real quick if there's an actual problem with the land. It's the only way on one way to really find out. And we're going to get into that. So you could do whatever you want. Everything is right. Do whatever. And you come in there and there's a huge issue. You have to fight people, go to the police, blah, blah, blah and it's very annoying somebody just won the land that you bought they want to get paid for the second time they don't have any right to it but they are just powerful they are connected with whatever they are using to intimidate you all that right and they can go as a stream as take me to court like the situation that i'm in right now and i have every right to go on the line of work is mine but there's injunction on the land so i am not going to beat around the bush and get into all the ways that you can find yourself in trouble in ghana the bottom line is me being in this business, there is only one way to truly know who the land belongs to. After doing whatever checks, whatever you want to do, and that's by touching the land. If you are buying land from somebody and that person wants everything before they want you to touch the land, I'm not saying it's wrong, but me personally, after seeing what I've seen, I want to go and touch the land. I want to go and build a wall. If I'm selling the land to you and you've paid me, let's say 50%, which is the method that I use to sell land, I take 50%. And I give you the right. You can go on the land and work. If anything pops up, you come to find out there's an issue, it's in my contract. We have to refund you the money. That's the way to only find out that the land that you bought is free from any issues. When you are working, trust me, the rightful owner is going to show up and come and stop you. Upon going through this, right, like my car wash situation, I bought a legit land. It's just that somebody was determined to get paid from their land. And there was only one way to find out. That's when I went to start working on the land and me looking out for my clients i've implemented the same thing so i'm letting you know that the only way to truly find out that the land is free from any issues is by going to work on the land so if you're buying land from a real estate you know developer or somebody and you have multiple people working on the land already that's an indication that the person has the right to the land and there is no issues on it right that's an indication so you want to work on the land or you want to see other people working on the land so if i'm out here selling let's say 100 acres and you come in here you see four or five people seven people that bought a land for me and they're working there everything is fine i have of course it's not like i'm selling the land without anything that is the ultimate owner the person with a possession and the right to work on the land you could do all the paperwork you want in ghana you know bribery and corruption is rampant in ghana i'll give you a story right so right now one of the lands that i sell is there is a judgment on four thousand acres right so a lot of people came in you know real estate firms and stuff like that they came in they were being cheap and they went to the wrong families to get the land and the family that i work with took them to court and they lost and none of them can come in there but they managed to bribe their way and do whatever to peg their names on portions of the land so if you go to land commission you do your search you think they are the right owners and not nah, most of the people that bought the land from these people had to come and pay again the people that didn't touch the land lost it right and there is a judgment a consent judgment because the people that even sold the land came to apologize right there's a consent judgment on the land so what you see in the land commission is not conclusive that's all i'm trying to tell you i laid out all the ways that these issues can happen you know people just being greedy and outright selling two three four times and an actual issue in court there's a judgment me person was better than a title is somebody with a judgment from court and have rate of possession 
right with the police backing it and being very powerful and not letting anybody you know mess with whoever is working on the land that is the ultimate owner and the ultimate player right i would rather buy a land with a judgment over it than buying a land with a title i'm not saying you're gonna have an issue with every title but the judgment has so much power if somebody is selling you land with a judgment that has been executed has writ of possession has gone through the land commission doing their paperwork which is going to happen later so if it's litigation free that's where that comes from it's been in and out of court it's done you have situations where people buy land everything was fine and the litigation will come in later it gets complicated by having a judgment on a land that's that that is the greatest form of documentation that you can have in ghana but ultimately you want to you know, you mere human like me, you don't have all the resources and all that stuff. It's just not worth it. Just go and touch the land. Go and touch the land and see what's going to pop up. It will pop up. There is an issue on the land. It will pop up right before your eyes. And you'll find out real quick. To me, you just got to know the people you are dealing with for the most part. Take your time. Get to know them. Get to know a few people. Like I said, it's a good indication. If the person has sold land to multiple people around in their building, it's a good indication. Like that's that holds more weight than whatever you see if you can develop and people are developing on the land right just get to know the people and like i said what you see in land commission is never conclusive it goes far deeper than that i hope this video helped you out and if it did and you have not subscribed to the channel already you know what to do kindly do so like the video helps the algorithm comment let me know what you think and until next time my friends be legendary peace